This is Ken here with MrTruck.com. And for this video series, I'm partnering with TransWest Truck Trailer RV north of Denver. And what we're trying to do is cover trailering tips. We know how dangerous trailers can be or how intimidating they can be. So we want to give you some advice and tips, some special uh, features that may make it easier for you to get used to it and do all the fun stuff. It's Ken with MrTruck.com and CJ with TransWest Truck Trailer RV north of Denver off of 52. Anyway, we are today talking about air ride. I love air ride. I love air ride on trucks. I love it on trailers. I mean, it really makes the animals ride better. It makes everything better. I mean, this is a, these are, I call them hybrids because it's torsion and air and shock absorber. All those things you normally can't get on a trailer. And it makes a perfect ride. So what do you think, CJ? Tell me all about why you want air ride. Well, there's a couple things. There's a big price tag on this type of a trailer and all these newer trailers, but also there's big price tags on what we're putting in them. Oh yeah. We're going to compete, we're going to events, we're going to shows. We want these animals to compete at the highest level. And you and I both know that a lot of trailers aren't the easiest and smoothest things to ride in <laughs> and it's hard on joints and it's hard on joints for the animals. So what we want to do is this air ride has become so popular because of what it can do for those animals. They step off the trailer fresher. We hear our customers say it time and time again, if they're traveling somewhere, they can actually cut at least 24 hours off of their trip. They don't have to have that recovery time that they would on normal on normal trailers with rubber torsion axles. Well, what does that do for added cost being on the road and and meals and lodging and 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 and? Yeah, whenever you get to where you're going, you want to win. Exactly. You want the animals rested. Yeah. You want to be rested. Yeah. But that's so cool. And these two, you can actually dump the air, what, a couple inches, three inches, whatever it is, so that's easier to get out. But these, you know, if you've got, you know, some of these trucks are so tall, which makes the trailers taller. Correct. And you got to go ramps or whatever. But with this, you can actually dump the trailer, give them a couple more inches, or was it two or three inches to, to get out and lowers the whole trailer. Yeah, typically what it does is when we air it up, it picks it up two and a half inches. So when we air it down, same thing, it goes back down to that. So it drops it two and a half inches. So whenever we're dealing with a step up into the trailer or even ramps, when the box is higher, our angles are higher on, you know, they're yeah. steeper on those ramps and we have a larger step getting the animals in. So I always tell people, hey, turn your air ride system on, get it aired up, but let's not actually pick the trailer up till we have everything loaded and we're ready to pull out the driveway. Well, that's cool. And then if you're in really rough terrain or someplace, not necessarily off-roading, but you go to a lot of places where there's dips, there's all kinds of crap, and you can lift this up, give yourself a little more clearance for the, the gray tanks, the black tanks, all that. Absolutely. We're dealing with a big, long trailer here, and the belly of it, I mean, and this with the living quarters, you're right. We have that plumbing. We have those holding tanks under there. You know, as we get into big dips and things like that, we have to worry about. So when we pick this box up, it helps us with clearance. Well, that's awesome. And we're going to, I'm going to the next next segment i'm going to actually put an accelerometer in the back stall because that's the, the worst stall for bounce and just see what the difference is we're going to shut the air off so it's only torsion we're going to put the air on see the difference between those two systems and how they work and then i'm also going to put a camera down there i've done that before on this with andrew but we're going to actually check it out and see how much it moves down there when you have the full suspension the air the torsion the shock i love the just having shocks on it. it makes me happy hardly any horse traders have shock absorbers correct I mean, it's crazy. In Europe, they have them. You know, the Brenda has them. All those guys over there, they, they understand it. But this is too cool. And, the, and you have to have three axles on these great big traders because it's really hard to do duels yeah. on a horse trader. So this is your best, best connection. And two, where you have the air suspension, it's like a semi. Torsion axles, you know, each one's independent. For, front to back, left to right, they're not connected. So, you know, if you go through a big bump, one of them's taking a lot of weight. But with this air ride, like what the semis do, actually it equalizes the weight between the axles, which is the only way you can do that on a horse trailer like this. I love that, going through potholes, rough roads, let them all share the load. I really think that's a great way to keep everything working right. Yep, absolutely. Having triple axles or air ride or all the wonderful things you got on this trailer, and you guys can order them in that way, all set, ready to go. Correct, yeah, we can, we can order them in. I mean, you can always, we can always go in and add air ride after the fact, Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more 
expensive because we are we're dealing with existing we got to pick the trailer up and drop the axles and add the system to it to where if we're building something we know we're building it from scratch so it's real simple to do um, again if you talk to customers that are pulling these trailers today uh, you know every one of them again will tell you I will not pull a trailer without air ride again I mean they are big believers in it they feel it's a game changer especially when you're competing going these long distances that they have to travel the animals step off so much fresher well, tell me that, because you guys do sell a lot of show traders, whether it's pigs, calves, yes. steers, horses. How many of those particular show trailers that are made for that purpose do they order them with their ride? You know, in our cattle trailers uh, now, and we get into our, like our Cimarron steer walt model, if it's an inventory piece, we will not order it without air ride. Oh, okay. It won't sell. Oh, good. good. So that's good to know. that's how big of a believers we are, but that also tells us the customers as well, because everybody said does that trailer have air ride and if it doesn't they're moving on they're going to well, go find good. one well, um so on the cattle side of it you know a lot of those bigger you know fancier show trailers will all have air ride on them that we're building and in inventory and then in the small animals we're seeing that trend start to happen as well you know we're putting more air ride trailers in inventory and we're building pretty much all of our custom builds have gone that way is putting air ride on them well, that's great. Well, they want to get a hold of you so they can get that ordering. It's going to take a yes. few months. Yes, it will. So how do they contact you, CJ? Just give us a call. Anybody in the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Cool. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. This is the cool model outside. It tells you what it looks, what it does, and how it looks, so you can see it. Because it's kind of hard to get in the trailer and see everything. So I love this demonstrator trailer you have here. So tell me all about it. Yeah. So we actually like taking this to shows, or also, you know, just having it here at the lot showing people. Because with a finished trailer with air ride, it is. It's hard to see what we have going on underneath there, and this gives you a good view of it. Uh, but when it comes to the air ride system itself, we tell everybody it is very simple to use. It's not complicated. You have an onboard self-contained compressor. It's very simple to use. You turn it on, the compressor will kick on. We'll get up over, you know, usually between about 140, 145 PSI and then it'll shut off. And what we recommend to customers is, is just turn the compressor on, but don't actually don't raise the trailer. Go ahead and make sure you've got horses you know, loaded because typically, you know, it's actually going to pick the box up about two and a half inches off, you know, higher off the ground. So when we go to load horses or we're dealing with ramps, anything like that, you know, ramps are much steeper when it's picked up higher or it's a bigger step for the horses. So I tell customers, go ahead and turn it on, get them loaded. And then once you're ready, you roll it to the, the raised position. Now this is really responsive picking this thing up because we don't have the weight of the trailer actually sitting here. So it's not gonna be that responsive to pick up as far as that, that time where it actually lifts the trailer, but it'll get back up to that 140, 145 PSI and it'll shut off. And you drive down the road that way. And then, you know, you when you go to park it and unhook it, there's kind of a procedure that we can walk through uh, on, on how to actually properly turn the system off and clear the lines itself. But what's really cool is the old air ride systems, you know, Basically, if you had an issue with an airline or a bag, you were stuck. You couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't move that trailer. So that's why some people, if you ask them about air ride and if they've had experience with it, they said, oh, no, I won't have another one again. But with this new system, because of a rubber torsion axle, because of the shock kit that we put on it, if something happens to the air ride, the compressor, a line, a bag, it sets down on that rubber torsion axle and you can go down the road, get to where you need to, and then get it addressed and get it fixed at that point. So again, you're not gonna get stuck. Yeah, and that's what's cool. That's why it's called a hybrid, is it air and torsion. And it is so cool, and it's got a big platform for the airbag. And it's all, you know, it's it comes as one complete unit. Yeah. So it's got shocks are all made for it, and the airbags are made for it. Everything's set up because, you know, this is a hard thing to do. I think all traders need shock absorbers, but it's so much easier to do to this kind of an axle that you guys sell on your trailers. And I think that's just great. It's awesome. Now, this one has disc brakes because it is that kind of a 
of a demonstrator model, but you can put them on any kind of brakes, right? Correct. You know, a lot of times we'll do some air ride trailers with just electric brakes. As we get into our bigger, more custom trailers, especially our custom builds for um, some individuals or even some of our inventory trailers, like the one that we're looking at today, uh, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a big fancy trailer. You know, those electric over hydraulic disc brakes, you know, they're a lot stouter, they're a lot more responsive. Uh, so on some of those trailers, we'll go ahead and make that upgrade into those type of systems. Oh, that is so awesome. The torsion still does the suspension, the air just assists it, and my goodness, you can tell such a difference back there. It's like the best ride you can get yeah. is with this air ride. Yeah, absolutely. One of the most common things that I hear from customers that we've sold air ride trailers to uh, with this type of a setup is, is I will never own another trailer without it. I mean, that's, that's how much a believer they are, and they are very happy and proud to pass that along to everyone. You betcha. So it's got this valve, the leveling valve that actually yep. stops you. Correct. And we'll show that on the trailer, but when you add this, because you know, torsion axles, they're basically independent, mm -hmm. left and right, front and rear. So they don't work together like a Louis spring with an equalizer in it. Yeah. Now semis figured out they can take these air rides and actually hook them together, which I know you guys can do. So they'll actually work together. So it's, it's really a good way to save your trailer and go over those bumps and still have everything touching the ground. Yeah. Which I really like. And it's, you only really do that on air, you can't do it with torsion. But this is such an awesome setup you guys have here. I've always enjoyed these, but okay. Yeah, yeah and then when you go to shut it down, I mean, it, again, it's very simple. It's turn off the compressor. We roll it to the lower position. Then the weight of the trailer is usually put, you know, pushing down on those bags, clearing it. But then there's this cable underneath, and this is a really important piece because what happens is, is with this compressor, air can create condensation, which can get in lines and freeze and crack, and that's where a lot of our air issues come from. Yeah. So it's as simple as just pulling this. I always tell customers, just hold this till it stops hissing at you, and you're clear. Just like what a semi would do. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful ride. I know you do sell a lot of these with your show trailers. Yes. Because they really appreciate the, the benefit of their animals going to a show yeah. and being ready to go and not all wore out. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people that are competing, whether it's, you know, on the livestock industry, in the horse industry, going to rodeos or different shows, events, um, you know, these horses and, and livestock are a major investment. I mean, we're talking not only the initial cost to maybe purchase them, but then what's their value after events, breeding type purposes anything and everything we can give them to compete at the highest level and get them in as best condition as we can, we should look at. And, and that's why these air ride trailers have become so popular. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And you guys can order them this way and you're all set up and people can get a hold of you to uh, put that order in and get equipped exactly the way they want. That's awesome. Yep. Now for the fun, we're gonna take this great big Cimarron trailer, three axle trailer, I think it's a four horse, we're going to hit the road. It's only going to be like a 30 mile an hour test. We'll do a loop with air and without air just to see if there's a difference. See if we can tell. We've got an accelerometer in the tra the last stall of the trailer. Mr. Trek here. We are doing the test now on this three axle Cimarron and the horse trader living quarters. Yep, all three axles. They've got the airbag on them. They've also got shock absorbers and torsion axle. And this test, first test, we've got air in the airbags. All of the, everything's working. The airbags are giving you that absorption. The uh, shocks are working. The torsion axle's working. And, you know, this is an empty trailer. So if it was loaded, you'd see even more movement of it trying to control the bumps. And this actually is on the same loop with that same empty trailer, no horses in it. And that's what it looks like underneath there. The graph's going to show you more <clears throat> than you can probably visualize looking at these tires. But that's what it's doing going down the road. And it's uh, it's working. It really makes a soft ride out of it. Your horses are happier. Your livestock's happier. Everything that gets out of there. It's almost, it's, well, you stand inside the trailer and it's like on a trampoline. You can just kind of, rolling motion is what it is. And it's just so awesome. And I have ridden the back of these. And we've actually put cameras in there and had horses in there. And with the airbags, they were fine. We shut the air off. They started kicking the walls and all kinds of things. So they weren't happy. This graph here, the first half, you'll see where it goes above zero there in the middle. First half is with air on. Second half is with the airbags deflated, deflated. And you can see how much rougher the second half is. And here we are. <laughs> I sped up the video so you wouldn't get bored and fall asleep 
watching the airbags go up. But I'm taking the air out so we can test it without air. And all we're going to be using is a torsion axle. And it's uh, it's interesting. Of course, the shocks are still there. We didn't remove those. And here it is. And uh, if you watch them both several times, you'll see there's you can see the deflection and how much more movement there is without the airbags. And you saw that on the graph, the, the four, the three accelerometers velcroed to the last stall of the trailer. You can see how that reacted to it. First half was pretty normal. Second half went above zero, and it was shooting all over the place. So. It is a dramatic difference between having airbags and not having airbags. And that's what this is all about. Now here you have less movement uh, with this setup with no air in the airbags, so it's more of a harder jolt when you hit those bumps, hit those expansion joints, you know, and then the horses start kicking the walls and everything else because they know, you know, the poor guys, nothing against these trailers. There's some better than some more worse. Some are on some fantastic trailer. Some of the, the cheaper traders, it's like riding a tin can, yeah, it goes like crazy. The horses are just being tortured back there. So it's nice to have a real good trader like this sim on here. Of course, the air ride is, is like heaven. The horses are your animal, your livestock, your show animals. will be so much more rested when they get to the destination and you're ready for the show. And it's great. And you got a lot of money invested, so you certainly want the best performance. Well, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and come see CJ.